Come on, everybody, let's start the show. A quick ahoy hoy, and away we'll go. Richard's got a mini fig, and Flynn's got a pin. The gang's all here, and it's time to begin. Tricky Bricks Roll Call. Moto. Holly. Kara. And sometimes Blair. Clicky. Logan. Ms. Thing and Angela and Thunderman Ho! Now you're here to grab your bricks and let's go to the Tricky Bricks Build and Check Show! Ahoy, ahoy, friends! Ahoy, ahoy, friends! Look at that. We were like on camera, ready to go, like we, like we knew what we were doing. I know. I was sitting here more than 10 seconds before. <laughs> <laughs> Barely. <laughs> Just, just barely. So, golly, hope you're having a good weekend so far. We are. It's been uh, in turns frustrating and fun. I've been wrestling. You, you've had frustration and fun. I've been wrestling with my 3D printer for four days. I finally put the whole thing back together after having taken it apart. And now I'm into this like part where apparently I have to learn coding. and. I'm my brain is about to just explode. calibrating, calibrating, calibrating. Yeah, right? like all of my like I have to go into a file and actually code stuff like some Whoa. kind of coder. And I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm learning stuff, but it's still not working. So that's been exciting. Uh, although I did manage to haul out the um, the the resin the other, printer, the resin printer. And right? I've been printing some really cool stuff on the resin printer. So pretty excited about that. Um, all right. So let's, we've got a, a fun show today. Like I'm like adjusting my hat. I need to stop wearing a hat on camera. No, I'm trying to get these. This. I'm getting these instructions. <laughs> there, there's a new Lego app for instructions. And my iPad I'm is updated. telling me I have to in, install that. Not just an update. It has a whole new name. Oh my goodness. It's a Lego builder. It's like a whole thing. So, uh, we are doing a, as you probably saw from the title of the show and heard, uh, while we were talking about it, is we're doing a build along today and we are building the, uh, Lego creator three in one bird house, uh, with my new interest in bird watching. Um, it seemed like a fun way to build. And not only that, but we're going to be joined by our Sunday crew who are also going to be building along at the same time. Very exciting. Uh, um, first up, we've got all the way from the Pacific Northwest. It's Holly. Hi, Holly. Hi, Holly. Hi, hi everyone. How you doing? I'm good. I'm still sorting. I was not 100% prepared, but I'm almost oh, there. Oh, we're I'm not, not at, all. at all. It's okay. fine. Okay. I know. Okay. I, I talked to Big Game last week. I was like, hmm, going to have it all sorted before we come on camera. Yep. Yeah, no. I'm going to get a couple of dishes, actually. <laughs> <laughs> um, and from across the bay, it's Mini Fig Chick. Hi, Hey, Cara. everyone. How's it going? I actually... Um, it's going great. I'm actually, um, I am actually sorting my bricks because I can't just sit here and do nothing while they're here in front of me. So I never yes. sort my bricks. <laughs> well, so we're all experiencing experience. new today. <laughs> <laughs> um, and here's some something that's not new, but a favorite, an old favorite. It's Moto. Hi, Moto. Hello. Not so old. <laughs> Not so old. I, I haven't even opened my box. I'm going to open it when we determine. So we're all sort of in build. different different phases right now. <laughs> yeah, and when I build a set, I don't I don't sort the parts. I just find them and put them together. Oh, so. I'm a big sorter. I like sorting. It's my favorite. Oh yeah, my goodness. No. Well, I I think um, us. Well, you know, people do do sort streams. Although I feel like watching four people sort bricks um, for an hour and a half. <laughs> Would be really boring. I won't do that to you. Well, there's a whole lot. Uh, yeah. I spent eight hours yesterday, literally eight straight hours counting bricks. We were doing project support um, distribution and. Oh, my goodness. Boy, it was a lot. <laughs> so I'm happy to be actually putting bricks together today. Which bag is which? I love I love too. these trees. I got I those remember. trees from uh, these things from uh, Target. Remember these? They're mm -hmm. like the little the little individual parts that come out. 
We've got a whole back of hey, you guys are you guys are very prepared. I just have a bare table. I'm not doing any trays or anything. I'm just gonna <clears throat> mash it up like a savage. Well, we just got unprepared because someone decided <laughs> to dump out the bags without paying attention to what number was on them. Well, it doesn't got, matter, I don't think, because mine says bag, bag one, one and bag two, or bag one and oh. bag two. You fired. <laughs> fired. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> what, what pins are you guys going to use for this shenanigans today? Oh, yeah, wow. Related. You're moving things along. Moto's just like, I want to start building. Just I want to start pins. building. <laughs> I don't know if this is get going. All right. Well, so all of you out there, uh, make sure and uh, get your kits out and ready to go. And we are going to uh, be kicking off here in a second. But uh, before that, it's time for pins. Who's ready with a pin, Kara? Always. All right. In honor of the birdhouse. In honor of the birdhouse, I have one of my favorite birdhouses. The oh, bird. oh that's yeah. great. A birdhouse for all birdhouses. Exactly. Very good. Okay, and Holly. All right, this is a funny one. This is one of those postcard pins from one of the Leica films uh, for Missing Link. <laughs> it's the chicken on Gamu's head. That's awesome. Which, if you have not... <laughs> If you have not seen Missing Link, you have no idea what's going on here. But yeah, these are cool. I picked picked these up at the uh, Academy Museum in LA. Very nice. cool. Yeah, nice. Cool. <laughs> All right, Moto. Where in the country are we going today? Let's take a nice journey to a park that doesn't get visited very often. Oh That's yes. Five Forest. Oh, I've been there. Now, why doesn't it get visited very often? It's just, it's, it's not like the Grand Canyon or Yosemite or Yellowstone. Right. You know, it's not one of those <clears throat> arches. You know, it's not one of those super famous parks, but every national park is pretty awesome. Very great. Yeah, it's not like um, you go for the spectacular landscapes. You go for the fossils and for the uh, history of the desert, as well as some uh, petroglyphs along the way. Very cool. That sounds awesome. Right on, Moto. That's writing on stone, right? Yeah, yeah. They chip out. They the stones get a patina. They darken in sunlight and oxidize over the centuries, and then someone will come along and peck out, you know, the symbol or the drawing or the illustration. And that's a petroglyph. Very cool. We saw some of those. Yes, we did. That one place that we went. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> and that place where we went. All right, so um, we I, I tried to choose, I guess it's actually kind of funny and appropriate that this is the only pin I could find that was bird related that I had, but you go ahead first. Okay, well, this is definitely bird related. I haven't shown this one, I think, maybe at all. Maybe I did. This is oh, yeah, from, from America Sings, and then I don't think they made it into Splash Mountain. Yeah, Definitely. they did. Really? From yeah. America Sings and Splash Mountain, it's the Vulture. We'll see cool. if they make their way to Tiana's Bayou Adventure. Oh, I bet they would. It would be so awesome Ooh, if they were. The Vulture <laughs> would be great. Um, and then uh, I have here Maleficent. I almost pulled a Maleficent pin. With her raven. He's awesome. Whoops. Um, did it work this time? Thank you. <laughs> oh, did one. Why do people not visit a park with a lot of dead things? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's... Uh, I don't know. You know, there. it's funny because there is a... Um, right near us in our neighborhood is a huge cemetery... Yep. with one of the most um, beautiful columbariums attached to it that I dare say anybody's ever been to. It's really uh, fantastic and people visit it all the time. So yeah. yeah it's got beautiful architecture. <laughs> it's made out like a, like a library, right? It's full of these bronze books. Yeah, it's, it's pretty awesome. Oh my goodness, uh, Vicarious Brickstress says, I've stopped spreadsheeting builds, but I'm still knolling. That is hardcore. 
Yeah. That is hardcore right there. <laughs> wow. wow. Whoa. No. So that's, um, that's not sustainable. <laughs> <laughs> not in my life. Uh-uh. Yes, I mean any any um any set that you want to build, you don't have to be building the set we're building. Uh, we just thought it would be fun. Uh, but you can build whatever set you want or sort or just sit there and um somehow enjoy the sound of our voices <laughs> uh, coming, <laughs> like a radio show i got something cool with my um with my uh create my creator set because i ordered it on um lego.com so i got the little um oh, oh world yeah. of wonders gift we got that too yep. oh yeah, very cool that's very cool so what's that this is this now the third taj mahal the smallest <laughs> yes of all. yes at least <laughs> It's the Taj Mahal. Okay. Actually, oh, aren't there four? There's I'll four. see myself out. Four? They reissued. They reissued. Oh, that's the... right, because they reissued the big one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very good. Well, um, everybody, let's see. Um, oh, yeah. Now is the time for everybody to say hi in the chat uh, for a little shout out. So we'll be getting to that in just a minute. Uh, but. Uh, for now, let's find out what is everybody building today? Like, I know we're all building the birdhouse, uh, but I think everybody, a couple of other people have chosen oh. theirs, and then one person is going to be the chaos today. Who will it be? Okay, so what do you, what's everybody building? I'm going to build the beehive. Because the, in- the bees are super cute. Yeah, I'm gonna do the the bench with the the squirrel and the like hedgehog. The hedgehog Very good. We're gonna do the birdhouse, right? Right, and then uh, Moto, here we go. The K is bringing chaos to the mix. What are you doing, Moto? I don't know. I'm gonna roll this dice. <laughs> <laughs> so one or two will be the birdhouse. Two or three will be the bench. Or sorry, three or four will be the bench. Five and six will be the beehive. I think that's the way to go. So let's. Ooh, I will be doing the birdhouse in your soul. Oh, oh awesome. all right. So it's a we'll both be doing bird bird high, how, how si? houses. Houses. Oh, how si. houses. <laughs> how si. Very good. Well, I just made a discovery about Lego instructions. My little iPad Mini is too old to run the instructions anymore. No. I, oh, yeah, no. I, I tried to download. Or I, I tried to run the instructions for the birdhouse, and it said too old you need to upgrade and then i went to the new app lego builder i think it was called um yeah. and it said that it, uh, it needs a more recent os than i can run so you got to be up to date to run the digital instructions yeah it doesn't surprise me um, Bummer, and though. keep in mind um if you really enjoyed your mindstorms that software supports going away um so they'll break out if you don't find a way to hack them Wait, wait, what? <clears throat> oh, you didn't know that? So Lego ah. is I yeah, mean, Lego scheduled. Go ahead. No, I mean, I know that they are moving on to a new system, but what now? Yeah, so for if you go online and you look at the um, older Mindstorm sets, the software that drives the brain is an app, and that app is going to get pulled from the app stores unsupported here in a mm. pretty short time. So if you want to continue to use Mindstorm's coding, you're going to have to look online and how to hack an Arduino or another chunk of software I, to make it merge and work. I thought it worked off of a off of a like a computer, off like a PC or something. Yeah, if you have other methods, but if you're used to the phone and yeah. the mobile apps, um, I, I don't think the I mobile apps knew. are set to retire. Wait, yeah, we have Jeez. we have two EV3s, and they're important oh. to our build. <laughs> like really important. So I'm hoping that the legacy software will. Continue. Yeah, it should. I didn't even know there was a mobile app for that. Actually. Um, oh. oh my goodness. Oh, I just. I, I don't know. To... Some of my logs said it's going to go unsupported soon, but I didn't do any research. I probably should have. I am fairly certain that software is going to be functioning for a while in some form or another. It should. So you're yeah, just spreading rumors, is that right, Moto? I mean, I the fact that, the fact that you could right. still use LDD for like a decade after it was di- discontinued. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Be around. Real quick, let's say hi to everybody who's in uh, the chat today. 
We've got Fourth World Adam is here. We're going Alexander 23Z. Always good to see you, friend. Uh, we've got Atorn2, Carolyn CCCCC, uh, Chaz's Brick Builds, Darren Siegfried is here, David Wilkie, Fabu Fan MKE, Gergen Zola is here, Hooded One, Jake Sadovich. Hey, Jake, how's it going? John Luttrell and Vicky, always good to see you. We've got Joshua S. Welcome back after a long absence. We've got Lisa, Lisa Head, Head. And and kicking, kicking off, off the escapades. Marilyn Parmley, Matthew mm -hmm. Builds Bricks, mm -hmm. Mini Fig Chick, Monica Berry, and Modo, and Mr. Ellie Daniel One. That's a big it is a big one today. We've got Rob Zaccardi Rob. and the Zaccardis. Hello, all. We've got Sam Harmon. Uh, Slug Biker is here. Uh, the the Brick, Brick Larkin, Larkin is back. Hello. Good to see you. Uh, Vicarious Brick Stress. And, of course, Wilfred. Bonsoir, Wilfred. And hello to Kim, wherever you may be, Zerakino. All right. I'm going to get well, my glasses, and I'll be right back. Okay. Well, while we're waiting for you, I'm never going to get to actually. Um, I'm never going to get to actually uh, get to building because we have something else to talk about. Uh, mm. well, we've got some Lego news to talk about. Um, Should we be building? Yeah, you guys, y'all. This is not a speed build. Y'all go ahead and build. <laughs> like we're just building. Okay. Um, so um, yeah, this isn't going to turn into the the. Uh, the motor, the remote controlled car situation. That we I think had. that was more of just an issue or a matter of us trying to get that thing done in one. Right, in done one in show. one, exactly. <laughs> it wasn't like we were competing against each other. We were just trying to build it fast. <laughs> so, so check this out. This week, uh, Lego announced so a exciting. return. Of, now we kind of got a preview with the return of Lord of the Rings with the Brickheads. But now, yeah. Yeah. we straight up got Rivendell. And we saw oh, it coming, so right? We knew it was yep. coming. I mean, I this is it's this gorgeous. thing is insanely cool. Yeah, but I didn't know what it was gonna what it was gonna be, but I knew when they did those Lord of the Rings um, brickheads that, that there was that gonna be something some, was coming, right? Something cool was coming. Yep. Yep. So this is. I mean, this is pretty it's incredible. Huge. I gotta say, like it's big news too. When you hear about it from like your non Lego people, like yes. everyone was talking about this. <laughs> yep, yeah. yep, absolutely. So it is. Um, it's already like you can already. It's already listed on the website and everything. Um, it's absolutely stunning. I early access, say. early access for VIP members. If you didn't know. Okay, can we talk a minute about the construction of these seats? It's a popsicle <laughs> with hot dogs. Well, and check out those new leaf parts. Yeah. Yes. I haven't seen those before. Great. Did you know those are uh, Wes Talbot special? The the nice. leaf? The ferns. That was his design. Well, it's not exactly his design, but he, he came, he, he posted about it. He came up with a design for like a new element for a fern and worked That's... with the designers to create that. That's awesome. Okay, yeah. I need about eight million of them. And also, it looks like the three leaf part in dark green. Yep. But yep. I'm sorry, I cannot get over those chairs. <laughs> They're cool. so with good. With sausages, of course. So it just goes to and show of how yeah, I'm saying, like, hot dogs and the and the popsicle. It, it, I mean, it's just it's a brilliant little design. Really, really just excellent. So um now. Field of course, there's then there's the other part of it. Uh oh, what's that? <laughs> the the price. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Well, I mean that's is, what I would expect. I mean, it is. It I I agree, but also like, there's no denying that's a hefty price tag. Like, yep. I yep. mean, yes, what you get is amazing, and also it's very expensive. You know what though? I think if you're gonna go big and pricey on a set, this yep. is this is where it's at like absolutely I and and again it's going to appeal to people who aren't already into lego which yeah. is the, yeah. a huge push you yeah. know and it's great and but a yeah. lot of people who are yep so that's going to be march 8th <laughs> at 6167 pieces that's or actually a really good price yeah, point for point. early access yeah yeah with an insane amount of minifigs and mm -hmm. yeah insane. so yeah, I'm not going to complain about the price on this one. I think it's fair. Oh yeah, I mean they I didn't. 
They didn't I am have... not complaining in any way. All I know. I'm saying is, is it's a big price tag. <laughs> it is. And they didn't have to go. They didn't have to go this big. They didn't have to make a UCS like Lord of the Rings set. But they did. <laughs> I'm so glad they did. <laughs> but they did. <laughs> they didn't have to, but they did. <laughs> Oh, and uh, David Wilkie, you were right. Your our directions also show paper bags with the parts in our mm -hmm. in our set, but they did come with the plastic with bags. plastic ones. So I was able to download the Builder app on my phone. Oh, very good. Yep. And one of you or some of you out there might have noticed when I went looking for my glasses, they were actually on my head. Wow, <laughs> you have ascended to full grandpa them. Um. Oh, yeah, Monica, yes, 15 figs and a couple of statues. So, my goodness. Well, that's going to be, um, that's going to be an excellent, an excellent purchase for some people. Well, and I think we should for start with, with bag two, which is the actual house. What, it, what, do, you, what do you think about that? Uh, do you, do you want to build bag one, sure. which is the stem? That sounds and chaotic. <laughs> I know. How I, do you start with bag two? That's I'm so shocked. Okay, I got to tell you all, I am shocked that he's even considering going out of order. This is like, <laughs> I don't know who that is. Well, I'm. <laughs> it's kind of how creator uh, sense are, though. We'll make it through this. We might make it through. Of course, we'll make it through, but we have to get started. Uh, well, I'm knolling over here. Canoling. As you You're do. Knolling? I'm not knolling. I'm not uh, going well, to that's what we, you know, we decided that that's just, uh, you know, I always used to feel bad because I was like, I feel like I build, oh, that's when we're building sets, like I, I tend to, you know, like do all the building and even Richard was like, I, I would rather be sorting the parts. <laughs> just like, just like <laughs> okay. when we do jigsaw puzzles, I it's like my sorting. superpower. Yeah. yeah. I am the finder and the sorter. He is the finder. He is the finder. He finds all the things, except for his glasses, which are... Apparently... Yeah, I mean, my sorting is pretty, like, it, I'm sure everybody else sorts like this, but that's that's pretty much, that's my sorting right there. It's like, that's literally pretty good. Compart pre compartmentalized. It's not really, like, oh yay, moto. cleanly sorted. I know, I'm excited oh, about building so the birds, cute. but apparently we're building the house first. Well, there's two, bir <laughs> two birds come with the house. Okay. Is one of them a cuckoo? Because yikes! What are you trying to say? Well, I mean, I, well, I I don't want. I mean, do you, <laughs> cuckoo birds are vicious. They're like they have a cute, funny name, but oh my goodness, they're not like they're terrifying. <laughs> they're they're terrifying. Well, on the more cheerful side of birds, we have two <laughs> two bird feeders outside our window here. The one where the sun comes in and sets and makes us very bright. Two bird feeders right there. And there's probably, what, six different kinds of birds we see out there? Yeah, they come uh, come around. That's nice. Okay. How so do they... Um, the ball from the little bowl. Yep. What so was that? the first bird is really clever. Um, he used a lot of jumpers to do the do the head to get an odd number with a single brick down the middle uh-huh um little stud math there and then at the bottom i call it the little tail fin for speed racers but the tail fins used as a body to get the feet on really oh, clever really? little compact build great design and then i love how the little hint of the dots on the tail give you that little curved indentation of tail feathers oh that's so cool oh i'm so excited Oh, oh, another excitement completely, or another announcement completely off topic. I got my otters. Oh, oh yeah. You got your otter army. What are Just you looking the two. for? Just the oh, two one by now. two technic brick with an axle. <laughs> right there. Look at this there. cute little flower. He's cute. He's... Oh, that is cute. That's a cute little design. Very good. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, Zonker. Hey, Zonker. How's it hey, going? Zonker. Good hey, to see Zonker. you. Um, He's seeing Zonker at Brooks Cascade. Uh, no, oh, cool. I'm so excited! I can't, um, I can't wait to see him. There's always a, a great micro scale presence at Brooks Cascade. There is. And Zonker is super experienced with micro scale. I miss doing micro scale. I haven't built a micro scale thing in a long time. Let's see, I have to keep taking my glasses on and off. I guess I could. So here's my fun observation of this set as a whole: is that there's one two by three plate in 
pink and two one by one plates in pink. So is it the light pink colors. or the dark pink? That is dark pink. It's the light pink. Oh, is Bright it? Pink. It looks dark pink on camera. Oh no, no, that's dark pink. Is that dark pink? Yeah, that's yeah. Dark. It's not like the pale. I don't know. Pink. It's like pink, yeah. pink to me. Yeah. So. Anyway, those are the fun. That's a fun secret color. Well, I've nulled one bag so far here. We can and and now and then we'll show you. We'll either hold things up or we'll move the camera and show you what's Are on the table. Are you able to change my camera? Um... Yeah, actually, I just noticed that they added a new feature where you can share a second camera. They didn't have that for a long time, and unfortunately, we didn't get that set up for today. So, oh darn. We'll. Uh, oh, it doesn't actually work though. I'll just be point. We'll be pointing down a bit on arch. Okay, so I've got the bird. I'm I've got the birdhouse going here, and or we've got oh, the birdhouse. Okay. Four tan one by ones stack, two stacks of two. Sorry. Dark this tan, like... dark tan, yes. Dark tan, dark yeah. tanian, yes. Um, I always have to say dark tanian, and if you don't, I will. <laughs> <laughs> I do every every things. time. Oh my goodness! Sorry, there guys. You go. What is that? I see a thing that's um, like, GoPro. It's a GoPro webcam. It is a GoPro webcam, but I am not actually, I wasn't plugged in the right way. So. What other conventions, uh, Alexander Z says, what, um, what other conventions are y'all attending this season? Uh, we will be, uh, right now, it, we're just... Doing Cascade, Cascade and Chicago, and Chicago. Brick World Chicago. Um, and that's going to be a huge, like, conclave of uh, Lego Masters. A will clutch. Be going to that one, a clutch. Oh, that bird is so cute, too. Oh, that's so cute, Moto. Look at that. It's very similar to the first one. It uses the same tricks, but <clears throat> by flipping a couple bricks here and there, you can get the crest bill on the top of the head. And um, But you'll find it's very similar in the way it's constructed. Once, oh, they, saw, you know, once no. they solved one of them, yeah, they were able to kind of mutate just with slight adjustments oh. to get the other bird. So I, cute. I see a new piece here I've not seen before. Maybe Clicky can help with. Oh, yeah, that new pin. Right? It's a pin on this side and then like a grommet on this side. Yeah, with a sort of a nail head stop. Yeah. It's a relatively new piece, yeah. Very cool. Okay. I probably should have done this before we got started. Let's see if it uh, works now. When is Chicago? Chicago is uh, in June because it's the month after Cascade. That's that. mid June. Seventeenth and eighteenth. Yep. Top down. Oh, look at that top down camera. Oh, yay! Top down, top down camera. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> If anyone is going to Chicago, now is the time to uh, start getting your stuff registered and your display case. Yes, and that's up in. fast. And your room, because they already sold out their block. Yeah. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, yeah, I had to get a non-block set of rooms. Oh, goodness. You're going to Chicago? Yeah, my niece is going to be there. So that's so exciting. Ooh, I haven't seen her since she was like five. Oh wow! And she's an amazing train builder now. So, well, I will see you there. I'm planning on going. I've that's registered. So fun. Skittles is getting antsy over here. It's not time yet. I know oh, Logan was all so early. sniffing around too. Yeah, this is about <laughs> 15 whole minutes. I know. Hmm. All right, so uh, do the round the dots. There's like dark tan dots. Dark tan. Oh, maybe in this. Yes. Are they? I can't tell. Oh, they're they tiles. They look like tiles to me. How many? Four. I don't have my glasses on. Yes. Okay, so I've got the beginning of the birdhouse here. I'll show you. Um. Girl, it is not time. Pretty. <laughs> You got a pretty pretty simple construction, but nice, nice little. shape. Yeah, I love the I love that you can do big round holes. That just makes me happy. That's cute. <laughs> Lots of inverse uh, slopes as well. 
I wonder if you put the right stuff inside, if you could entice birds to move into the Lego birdhouse. Oh, maybe. <laughs> I mean, they'll, they, well, I think it depends on the bird, but yeah, they, right. they might. Maybe if it's know. a super small bird, I don't know. <laughs> like a Yeah, it would have to be a, a pretty, California towhee. It would, that would never fit. That A towhee might fit its head in there, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Listen to you and your bird knowledge. <laughs> I know. It's because I see them out the window every day, so I've gotten to know the ones that gather in our. In our and uh, a so California cool. towhee, Oakland is actually the uh, when they do the yearly bird count. Uh, Oakland consistently counts the most number of California towhees in the country. Oh no, kidding! Yeah. So yeah, it's our it's our bird claim to fame. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Next on useless things you didn't need to know. <laughs> I love useless things I didn't need to know. They're fabulous. But I mean, hey, you know, might as, well be, might as well be dropping some bird knowledge while we're making these. Uh, at the bee's knees. Oh, Super that's very cute. cute. Yes. I actually find it very appropriate that there's a squirrel for, or that there's a squirrel build in the same set because when I looked at that birdhouse, the first thing I thought was, or squirrel house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, squirrels, squirrels tried to get at our bird feeders. They were like, they, they were doing Cirque du Soleil out of know. squirrels. It was hilarious. Yep. I've seen it. I've Collection seen that show in my own backyard. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. Let's uh, let's do these one at a time, Moto. Let's see the bird. Oh, oh so that's a. Uh, Oh, that kind of looks like a chickadee. I wonder what kind of bird that's supposed to be. Does it say in the book, uh, Moto, what like the chickadee. different birds are? My little chickadee. I bird. will try to look right now. I was focused on building. Yeah, I don't know if they do that in, for uh, creator sets, but they've been, you know, a lot, um, been doing a lot of that lately, like putting facts, like little There's facts. No facts. There's no facts pages in here. Okay. And what have you got there, Kara? Got the bees collecting pollen from the flowers. Just mm -hmm. a cute little side model. Yep. Very cool. Oh, so um, hang on. Get back I've always wondered. Says she thinks so, it's a chickadee. It's vicarious. Uh, what'd you say? Lisa About says she thinks it's a chickadee. I think it's a chickadee too. Yeah, that's what I think. Um, let me see. It's a uh, vicarious bird. Just asked a good question. She said, "Do you see the same birds often enough to name them?" Now, do you mean like name them like what they're like actually Ralph or and, yeah, or do I name? I think them she means mean. like Ralph and Fred. I, I have to say, <laughs> I see I see the same birds often enough, but I haven't um, focused my attention on their tiny details enough to say um like that, like i could tell the difference the between one. some of the because they they tend to look similar the finches are a little easier because their red coloring is in different spots and takes up different amounts of room so anyway hmm. this one's scarlet and this one's rosy yes exactly <laughs> uh so a little more a little mr meow names all the squirrels in the backyard oh yeah yeah. So the, the first squirrel of the season is always going to get the name Mr. Nibs. And I don't know why, but it sounds like a great name. <laughs> That's pretty that. hilarious. I love Mr. Perfect. Nibs. Mr. Nibs. And then when they're building their little nests, he calls a, he'll call one chainsaw. There's constantly <laughs> stuff falling out of the tree. It's a very seasonal activity. That's hilarious. We have squirrels. I all like it. The time. I know there's a wild peanut trade in the backyard. I don't know where the peanuts are coming from, but they they run from the neighbor's roof along the fence up into the trees. There's it's a brisk peanut trade. <laughs> those, those little tombstone pieces. I didn't even That's see awesome. those. What do you I'm missing the bag. Well, certainly got a lots of little parts. This birdhouse has a really interesting core. Oh, you're building the, the vertical stem for it, right? Yeah. What's interesting about it? Well, so if you guys know your snot math, um, you always do snot brick and then two and then snot brick. Yeah. The other rule that you can do is because if you add up all the plates and the snot bricks, you can go five bricks as an immediate jump. 
and still keep it in system. That's what they decided to do is go one, two, three, four, five. Oh, and then very bridge cool. the gap at the plate. Um, but they're definitely trying to get a snot where it's, you know, all four sides have their studs outwards so you can do various machinations. And then they're using uh, Technic plates. So there's a lot of threading and binding um, probably what's going to be the birdhouse uh, post to get it to go through the core. Check this out. Other, I, another new piece I haven't seen much, but this like invert mm -hmm. curve. Mm -hmm. That's a really nice one. Whoa, where did that's that come cool. from? Uh, I don't know. It's in the, it's in the, we're in bag two. We're doing uh, bag two. Since you're doing ba uh, bag one, we're starting with bag I two. But that's I think cool. I may have that seen it cool. in the big Mickey and Minnie. Really? Huh. I'm I haven't to, run I know, I've seen it before. Yet. But I can't remember where. But there's yeah, I just I just came across like, that in my in my instructions too for the bench. So. Oh, that's awesome! Lisa says her mom has a bird feeder near her breakfast nook and has a pamphlet that has all the local birds for that area. Yeah, I have a book that I got for um, for Christmas for from, San Francisco from, from for, yeah, I have a foldy one. Um, from uh, Richard that is like the local birds of San Francisco. And then I have a book from Cara that is the birds of the West Coast uh, with lots of cool things. Yeah. All okay, right, bring so you here. I know. I'm I, I want to answer one from the from the chat. Ivan, yes, that is. Um, and when I met when I met him, I had him autograph it so I could take it back home. But no, I'm, I'm probably not going to open that box anytime soon. I've got a lot of kind of weird boon stuff from when I hung out with them. I've got this um, that medium azure chunk over there. That was part of the um, like Warner Brothers Space Jam commercial where they blew the backdrop up. Oh, and right. it was all the, it's got the dead cord burn marks on it. It was like one of the largest chunks that survived getting exploded. <laughs> oh yeah, I saw Boone had some of those because he worked on that, right? Yeah, that's what he's saying. He got this from Boone. Oh, got it. I got it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got it from Boone. He had a whole tub with a blown up brick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think I still have a piece in my car. <laughs> you guess? <laughs> okay, let me see. Well, this is. Oh, it's a little eggs. There's eggs inside. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. Hang on, I'm gonna. I'll show you in a, here in a second. This little, um, this little tail is cute too. The little squirrel tail. So that's uh, the squirrel. Oh, nice. Isn't that cute? I like, like the curvy things they're doing lately. Yeah, that's what that's what's using those inverted um, mm -hmm. curvy bits that Flem was just holding up. Those are cool. Like, and oh, there's cool. the um, Starry Night has a lot of nice curvy bits too. It's only a little mm -hmm. bit of a missed opportunity that the tail doesn't doesn't swoosh side to side like they do. Yeah. This. You can modify that. It can at least it can at least twitch this way. Does it need eyes? <laughs> oh, that's clever. I think it has eyes. That's clever. Yeah. Those bricks. Where would you be? Ooh, fleshy one by ones. Okay, here we go. Um, so in the base, in the base of the uh, birdhouse. Uh huh. You I'm melt this piece. Me. Hold on. I'll go real slow. There's that piece and it has openings and then you just slot it right into the existing legs that you've built. Oh, and cool. So they tessellated nice. and made it overlap with a nice clean little gap. Tessellated, that's a nice word. Very cool. And I have, let's see, um, this, so this is the, this goes inside the house. It's like a little, mini nest with a tiny bird yeah. coming out of the egg. It's really cute. <laughs> Here, I got you a head start. Oh yeah, Marilyn, you know what? I want uh, I want a bird bath really bad for our backyard. I need, uh, that's like my next bird thing that I want to get. Yeah, we had a koi pond at our, at our old house and that was essentially a bird bath. Oh, interesting thing, actually. I probably shouldn't 
I shouldn't jinx it. Um, I shouldn't jinx it, but <laughs> it is on it is on topic. So we actually got an we, so our old house we've put up for sale, and it currently has an offer pending. Yay! Ooh. And the person who one of the people who was trying to buy it is apparently some sort of like bird researcher or does something with birds. Oh, cool! So <laughs> very good. Um, yeah. So isn't that kind of a coincidence? Okay, so check this out. Um, we've got, oh no, I put the wrong piece in here. Here, I got both of these built for you. Uh oh, now I can't show it off because I have to replace this part uh -oh. real quick. No. All right, there are supposed to be two brown one by one bricks with a stud on one side. I think. Oh no, maybe I'm blind. Here, check this out. Oh, I'm blind. I'm blind. These dark so colors. So here is the. Here's the house, oh, and the nest goes in side in the middle, so that yeah, so that the little baby bird's head is kind of by the hole. And then you can see we made these, uh, put these bars on, and we're gonna attach these two pieces that Richard already made. These with clips, so they're on that nice angle. Yeah, so that's how we get that cool that like classic birdhouse angle cute yeah it's cool nice, nice. smooth now, too right yeah that looks really good marilyn parmley says for the bird bath she just uses a shallow bowl and refills it every other day oh, yeah i mean i don't have to be fancy like my yeah that pond that we had the birds were pretty happy with just a pool of water <laughs> yeah i need to get something though that's a little off the ground because there's a cat mm. that lurks around oh, the, yeah. our backyard so having oh, it on yeah. the ground lurks <laughs> um yeah i yeah, had to tear it off from eating a bird the other day and the thing you have to be careful too with any anything you're using for a bird bath is you want to have a um like a little pump or like a water circulator because yep. any standing water will uh, basically breed mosquitoes. That's yep. why I had to take uh, ours down true. because it became yep. a huge mosquito infestation yep. place. But you can buy these little like um, small like uh, fountain type pumps that you can put in any sort of, like even just a bowl of water, you can put it in there and it'll just kind of constantly pump water and that keeps the water circulating, gets rid of mosquitoes. Just a All right, my pet right? peeve. My pet peeve is when you've got this build with a whole bunch of different parts and you get to the end of it and it says two. Make yes, two. Yeah, two. exactly. Uh -huh. Why wasn't I building uh -huh. that at once? Uh -huh. I'm like, <laughs> does it, actually, does it not say it at the beginning of the instructions? I often don't notice, but sometimes I'll go I back and it, it actually does. It actually does tell you times two. All right, it should put it in bigger letters. <laughs> I agree. I usually do not notice it. I also don't pay much attention to like where it calls out the parts unless it's a really complicated build. I almost always just kind of ignore this too for the most part. Yeah, me too. I just look yeah. at the build and yeah. put it together. Yeah, which is probably why I screw up so many times. <laughs> well, it's part of the fun, right? Yeah. I've never been good at following directions, really. <laughs> so naturally, you yeah. became a Lego builder. Exactly, of course. In like the hardest way possible. <laughs> Okay, what's this? Oh, is anybody hungry? Um, oh, I know, I, I know Logan is. is. Oh, Logan is hungry. Oh, is it that time? Oh, it, it sure is. Hungry. Okay. We are going to be taking a break from building for just a few minutes because it's that special time. It is time for the pause that refreshes. That's right, it's Logan cookie time. <laughs> No, 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 there goes the, <laughs> whoa, no, no more knolling. Yes. Yeah, you did not have to tell her twice. It's de -nulled. Okay, come here. Well, Richard just gets to have more fun re -nulling. I know, I can re -null And it. also crawling under the table to get all the pieces that he knocked under the floor. Oh, yes. Okay, here's our sound of happiness. <laughs> Good boy, Logan. And now it's Skittles with the weather. It. Something. Oh, she can see. She can see, so there's no excuse now. There's no excuse. Oh, wow. 
She's got like a full haircut. You can see. You gonna catch it? You gonna catch it? Nope. No. <laughs> catch it. Oh, almost. It's like a ritual at this point. Nope. Get off. Get off. Catch it. Oh, she caught that one off the chair. Nope. I mean, she doesn't even open her mouth to try. <laughs> oh my god. It's like a feature at this point. Oh it's Get perfect. Off. Why are you not? You need to make a you need to make a, a an intro for Skittles here. Skittles missing treats info. Yes. I mean, uh, intro, <laughs> yes. Right. And that has been <laughs> always uh <laughs> always something going on well Kara, i see what you mean i have a a pretty good idea i'm going to be making two of these but i haven't seen anywhere yet that it says make two i've just got double the number see? of parts are you making it's like it's like invisible. The, at the beginning, the thing that says two is invisible. Yeah. That's, that's oh, my they're theory. slightly different. That's why. Oh, so you do one and then the other yeah. one. Yeah. Oh, so that one doesn't actually say times two then. No, but Here, I will note one. that it has like um, very specific. Um, it shows you how. Here, I'll show you. There's like a big red line drawn around it to show you like what the measurement is and that all these pieces need to be even on the top. Oh. That's handy. Um, and I think that... Did I do it wrong? No, you did it right. No, you did it right. No, you did it right. Don't, touch don't care anymore. And uh, you can see here that the those yellow bricks that Kara had in the beehive are like here in the top of the... Mm -hmm. It's like hidden, actually. Um, so I think what's going to happen is we have <laughs> this, these Technic pieces here along the top, a bunch of them stacked next to each other, and then the holes here. So I'm going to go ahead and guess that there's going to be some kind of oh, um, hinge that that we're going to make use of. Corner. So for the base... <clears throat> Oh, it's so cool. Pretty nice. clever. The bird feeder is really interesting. Whoops. They use a tumble. So a at the tumble. very end, you're to, yeah, you're supposed to tumble in a couple little bits for the bird food in the dish. Oh, oh that's great. And they're using the kind of Kylo Ren big fig lightsaber cross guard combined with um, this new type of piece, which I really love. It's one of the few mm, the two bar. Pen. Yeah, I like yeah, this. Double, double bar uh, element with a stop. Very cool. So yeah, there's there's a lot of really modern pieces they're using to to get this thing to work with as few pieces as possible. It's really clever, really really clever. Great. Alexander twenty three Z says that um, if we do a Skittles animation, it's got to have a Skittles sitting in a chair with a question mark over it. <laughs> <laughs> While the are flying left and right. <laughs> and every once in a while, one has to hit her in the face. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> With sound effects. Yeah. How are we doing? All right. Pretty good. I'm almost okay. Done so with yeah. This so one. here's the one, the one roof piece, and I now. Great. Did I do it right? Yeah. So, so, I have yeah. this. so these are different. One is wider and the other one is narrower so that one fits. Oh, there they go. Oh, and that's the other. We're, we're going to use these special pins for that, I bet. Oh, you're right. So the the beehive has these nice little arches that I'm now going to actually cover up with a panel. <laughs> Here we've got these. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's where that this is, in fact, where they go. Oh, wait. Oh, that's the this way. Okay. Right, so yeah, those new pins that uh, Richard was showing, they're here in the roof. And they, they're they going to hinge these together. Frictionless. Roughly. 
And then we're going to lay the whole thing on top like this. Oh, and then you can push them in more to seal it. Yeah, and then you push them in more to click it all together. Just like the sort of the three length. It's like one of those three length pins, but without the... And look at that nice little... That fits really nicely. Yeah, it's a good fit. All right. I don't know what's going on here. Like, I don't know what these... The perch. I don't know what these are supposed to be. There's like flowers or oh, a one by five. Here we've got this piece. Oh, what do you think of Wolfram's here? question? Oh, sorry, I didn't see it. What is it? Uh, just mm. highlighted in the chat. Um. Oh, I know. I know some designers who actually aim to create new parts for sure. If well, I mean, I mean, didn't. Didn't Justin push for the purple space uh, person? Yeah, Justin's one of those that pushes for a lot of. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's there's definitely a few designers in the mix that are like a fall pleasers, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank goodness so, for them. Yes, oh. exactly. But a new piece would be a different, like a new color for that element as well, not just an entirely mm -hmm. new mold. Exactly, that too. That's, yeah, same. Yep. So who do you have to convince that it's absolutely necessary, or does it just come up through the design process? I think well, it, yeah, go ahead. No, I was just going to say, whatever the process is, it certainly seems easier now than it used to be. It's... I think you have to be pretty clever with um, budgeting. <laughs> so if you yeah. can budget uh, other parts, so I don't think I don't think they necessarily get everything they ask for. But um, if you can use, you know, they have kind of a budget of how many parts, you know, the set they're aiming for the set to be, and you know, depending on how many parts you're asking for and how many recolors and that sort of thing. Um, and then I, I'm sure there probably has to be a case made for like it's universality right like i doubt that it's mm -hmm. they're not doing a lot of one-off new parts for one individual set like usually those parts show up again in another set so they're probably being designed in proximity to each other would be my guess like if two designers are working on two different projects and they're and they're talking about you know like a new part and be like oh i could use that new part for this too then i think that probably ups the chances of it getting made that makes sense. Yeah. That's that's kind of how I would. It's a new color of frog, like pink <laughs> frogs on the bone side yeah. tree behind me. Yeah. But it's they needed be like to figure out how to reuse that. Yeah, they but they needed so many of them, so it wasn't like they were yeah. just making one pink frog for like. And recolors aren't as big of a deal as like a new part, you know. Right. Right. No new mold. Right. Check it out. So the I've got this done. The birdhouse part, it's complete. Yeah. We go. And the little nest inside. That's so adorable. Yeah, it's pretty cute. I mean, I would have liked to have seen something filling this gap here, but I can easily do that with my own bricks. Yeah. I was just thinking, we should, it's about that time. We should have Justin back on the show. We can ask questions like that. We that should. Be great. We should. That would be a great Anytime. idea. It's been a while. It has been a while. So, Flint. Flip yeah. the screen back to all of oh. us. Whoops, sorry. Okay, so there's up a cute little down. spout on the uh, beehive for the honey string. Oh, that's so awesome. That I love that. It's just, it's, now it's just a box. Oh, Slug Biker says, um, I heard one designer say they get other designers to also use that new piece so it makes it more likely to that's, be made. That's what I was saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Well, I'm working on a bird here. I'm going to build a bird. Here, you can take over this one. No, no, you finish that one. Now, if, if we and Moto were in the same room together, we'd be able to put this birdhouse on the central core that he's already built. Yeah, and I'm catching up to you guys. Oh, of course you are. You're like speed build. Mm -hmm. I don't... It's not my intent to speed build. I guess I just build at a fast pace or something. I don't know. Well, I'm also... Yeah, I'm also simultaneously like running the show and building. Yeah, and talking. And talking mm -hmm. and trying to build. Yeah, it's very but, common for the host to never complete anything. Yeah. <laughs> 
Well, fortunately, we've got two of us here. Although that's never stopped us from not finishing before. Although we've always done pretty good, I think, about finishing up. I feel like I'm missing something here. Eyeballs? No, it's not lining up. Uh oh. Oh dear. I think I'd better go back a step or two. Mm. Yeah, this is a cute little. Uh, um, they look like they're making a lot of use of these little mini slopes, mm -hmm. like little mini in like curve in slopes. Yeah, I got some here too. Did Did you guys see what Alexander said? That's a good one. I don't What's think that? a lot of people know that joke. No, when you get yes. in on the show, he can update Moto's OS. <laughs> so in Boone in a Boone live stream there was this thing where um there was a claim made that I'm not a real person, that I'm an android that was designed and built by Justin Ramsden. <laughs> so that, I would agree, except for that you don't have enough stickers. Ha <laughs> ha. This is true. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, how would you know? <laughs> it's true. He's all one big decal. <laughs> it's, all, it's all a tattoo you just have never gotten close enough to see that's how you, that's how you get all the detail you know oh like dear a, uh, what was the name for data from the next generations uh, it was Sung Sung was the guy or yeah Dr. Sung yep. Dr. 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 Sung yeah he's the Dr. Sung uh, yeah I, I mean I'll I'll be interested to see what the other bird models look like but this one is there uh, we go is very cute it's coming coming along i think i figured out where i went wrong and i love the eyeballs you can't either i usually don't like these eyeball tiles but for this particular model they look very cute oh, we love the Can eyeball tiles. Eye? they've got so many well i remember they had them on the wall at one point mm -hmm. <laughs> yes Dead. And then, like, a bunch. and then I know, like, th this was back when they could do this sort of thing. That the Lego store was, like, for AFOLs, they would like AFOL. They they would just bring boxes of the cup, like the the stuff on the wall, out, and you could just buy yep. an entire box. And I think mm -hmm. somebody in our lug bought an entire box of eyeballs. Yeah, we we they don't, but they don't. I don't think that they let us buy the, buy the box, but they definitely bring the boxes out so you can just kind of like scoop with your cup into the box. Yeah, I think this was like an end of the year thing and they like, they just oh, had yeah. ones they had to get rid of. So they were like, here, just buy the box. So, I can see them doing that on like, I don't know. That's April how we got day. all of our Mixel ball joints was that way. So what would you... Wow. Boxes are not discounted on AFL, AFOL day though. FYI. I, yeah. I right, imagine. yeah. So what would you do with all those clicky eyeballs? I mean, just create a gigantic clicky army or? Well, yeah, I think so. Make a lot of brick heads, I guess. <laughs> just a big eyeball. Oh, please. So did you guys talk about the technique for the eggs? Because they inverted the whole thing and I didn't know why until now. Well, so yeah, can... it's, in, it's, in, it's yes. inverted so that you can put the little bird, in, the baby bird inside. Yeah, so uh... I was like, why isn't it just right side up? But they do the little, they do the inkwell piece what I call equal piece right there. Yeah, that's what we call it too. And then they drop it in the anti-stud opening. But I was like, why is that necessary? And it turns out when you use the, the was that Erlang, when it has the four studs on all sides? Mm -hmm. uh, I've heard it called a Travis brick. Oh, oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. Travis. You're right. So they yeah, do a Travis right. on the side, which leads to a stud on the bottom of the head. So that's why the whole thing is inverted. It's just so you can get the little cracked shell effect of the bird. That's so great. I love the baby bird. All right. Do you want to see what you can do with a lot of eyeballs? That's nuts. Oh, I didn't do this right. Oh, yeah. So Robert built this box. It holds pens. Beautiful stained glass box. And the lid. Oh. Oh, that's great. <laughs> that's so cool. <laughs> Here's looking at you, kid. I love that. It's just, it's just... That's yeah, really cool. There you go. That's what you do with eyeballs. Yeah. 
is a great mosaic at Brick World <laughs> last year, right behind Monica's display that was all eye tiles mm -hmm. forming a pair of eyes. <laughs> I remember that. I remember seeing that online anyway. It was really cool. Very smart. There were uh, one by two trans blue, trans light blue tiles on the pickup brick wall. Can you uh -huh. guys guess how long they lasted? Oh, about an hour. You were there. <laughs> like, I'm sure they I were all gone. I wasn't there. But yeah, it got posted, and by within hours, it was gone. It was decimated. Yep. Wow. I don't doubt because, it. Because people really need them for all their water effects on their yep. belts. Yep. That's that's okay. uh, that is that's probably the only I part know. that I have scooped by the cup for that reason for that same reason. Oh 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 yes, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, we have a bunch of those, and they never right, last. So Once they get out there, it's just like they're right gone. Side. Oh well, these are so. This is a cute little bird model. I'm assuming that they're all like from what you said earlier, Moto, that they're all kind of similar, ish. Yeah, they have a very similar solution. And what they do is they tweak one or two little placements and orientations to really get the shape. But it's also the color. The color differences are really. I guess a bird is a bird is a bird is a bird. Well, not exactly. But yes, in Lego terms, yes. So here's the two that we just got done making. Um, little green and. Um, Yellow birds. Cute. Yeah, well, and they also, they change the bill shape, which is nice. Like this one has mm -hmm. a little tooth for a bill and this one is a little triangle. That's really cool. All right, well, we've finished uh, that bag. Okay, yeah, I finished the bench and the little critters. Wait, where's the apple there? You guys really flew through that. Whoa. Oh. Wow. It's been a while. Well, this that's is a smaller <laughs> build. It's so cute. Look at it. Oh, that is cute. Oh, Hang that's adorable. Me, uh, put that on the big screen there. <laughs> Super cute. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> Logan would be very excited to, be, like, to be there in person. And these are supposed to be tulips or something, I guess, like little flowers around it. These are extras. Very cute. Oh, I didn't attach the... Uh... Wait, what are these attached to? That little chain. <laughs> I'm guessing these attached to the... Yay, I'm building more birds. But yeah, I see what you mean, uh, Moto, about the about yeah the bird uh, construction. Yeah, because that's kind of... That's kind of not quite right. I think they could have done something a little more. I don't know the well, way that it changed. Have, maybe they didn't have the pieces. I the guess piece so. Budget. I do There's wonder. A lot of pieces three, left over, though. I wonder with these three-in-ones whether they say, "Okay, we're going to build a birdhouse here. Now we've built the birdhouse. See what else you can make out of it," or whether they try and build all three models, you know, together. Well, you have to take it apart to build any of the other models. Well, I just know? mean in when the designers oh, are figuring yeah. out what parts are going to be available, if it's mostly based on the one model, or they'd have to I have an idea is. of all three, right? I bet it is based on the one model, and then it probably is an iterative process so that as they're building an, a supplement, like an, an additional model, they probably are like, oh, I just need this one part, you right. know, to make this work. Then they would go back and, like, redesign the main one for you know see how they could incorporate like that one part they really need that's yeah that that's, makes sense that's what i would think yeah cute okay i like the solution for the bird legs um the little okay. clip, half clip yeah piece. so it's this it's the little clip piece here i'll show you okay you can yeah it's this little, like the little clip piece with that little, I don't know what that is, like a little shield piece, like riot shield. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then it just fits underneath the bird. Hmm. Like that. Very cute. Bye, hooded one. Oh, no, it's Joshua. Joshua's. Bye, Joshua. Bye, Joshua. Joshua. Marilyn Carmley's here. 
Yeah, she was here for the escapades. I just got so caught up in all the M's. <laughs> like an episode of Sesame Street or something. <laughs> what should um, I do with all these uh, trans yellow pieces? Anybody have a good idea for a... Classic space. Classic space, <laughs> of course. Now, here's the question, though. Are you just going to... Now, are you done with this? Or do you think you'll go back and unbuild that and make the birdhouse? I will probably unbuild it and part it out. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair it is yeah because i kind of like the parts and i think that's probably what i would end up doing i think um, we're going to keep this up for a little bit and then we'll unbuild it and build we'll build all of them eventually but we've got several you know lego birds and flowers in the, our bathroom window yeah so um they'll look really good there now, Moto, you were talking about the snot math with this central core of the building, but these headlight brick snot pieces don't follow the same rule as, I mean, brick. these brickheads pieces don't follow the same math as single snot pieces, do they? Aren't they fully in the system? Well, they do once you stack um, below or on top of them. Yeah, yeah, you still have to do the two plate offset before you do another snot brick. Got um, it. But, but they allow you to have a double row because a double row is impossible using the parts that exist. Aside from that. Yeah, that's why they molded them that way is um, the double row allows you to get a, to align um, a piece vertically up and down. Otherwise it'll wobble back and forth on a single stud unless you yeah, go that a makes super sense. long distance, yeah. Um, so they're they're pretty handy for a designer when you when you need them, I would think. Oh yeah, now what's I, going on, Flynn? No, I, I feel like I have the hang of the um, how the, oh, the birds things are put together now. Yeah, the things, all the things, all the things, all the things, the birds, the birds. Okay, let's see. Oh. Looking for... Carolyn Parmley wonders, uh, does anyone know what other parts Lego is made in the trans blue pearl color? I don't, oh, that I don't opalescent know color? There's oh, cone. did you get some of those? There's... Here, I'll post a link. Yeah, there's cones and all sorts of things. Yeah, the there's easiest way to find out very quickly is you go to the Bricklink catalog. And instead of by part, they have a thing called color guide. And you just click on the color guide and they'll show all the parts for that color. Oh, very good. Oh, that's cool. And there's 34 in the trans light blue and nine parts in the trans dark blue. So, Marilyn, here's a link. Oh, Steve, is there too high, Steve? Okay, there here go. we go. Got that's another bird? Light blue. Yeah, blue jay oh, cool. this time. There's a couple of eyes. Do the eyes go on jump plates? Yes, they go on blue. No, they go on white jump plates. Huh. So you guys good. notice that Technic pin that you used on the roof of the birdhouse? Yes. Yeah. Do you know why they chose to use that new pin? Oh, do tell. Why? Well, because they could have used a blue one with the stop in the middle. But if you think about it, it wouldn't have been as simple to construct the birdhouse in the steps unless you did a through punch like they have. So you needed that yeah, where you can, to do the through punch. Where you can push from the outside. Yeah, to do the final connection. Oh, Jake. you're right. They could yep. have done a standard blue piece, but it wouldn't have been nearly as easy to explain the instruction steps. Right. So here's the so there's a little bit of usability going on in the designs here. It's kind of cool. Right. Oh, you done, Kara? Almost. This is the roof. Just lifts off. The bee and it hive. Nestles into there's a little divot here where these bits nestle into so it doesn't move around and then you can pull the honeycomb out and there's Yum. these the honeycomb and there's the a few more right something, a couple other things i have to oh i know what i have to build yet so there's oh i will build it and then i will show you if you know what the honeycomb hideout build is, you are old. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Isn't that from the Honeycomb, honeycomb Hideout? Yeah, yep. yep. <laughs> they had like a whole clubhouse, like when we were kids. That was like a whole thing. I thought that was still a 
thing. Like I thought that was. Aren't they still making those commercials? Are they? I don't know. I don't watch. I mean, I was still making. I was still making uh, Cheerios commercials ten years ago or more, and I feel like that was maybe still a thing. All right. I don't know. If you say so. Oh wait, I thought they didn't advertise sugar cereal anymore because. Well, it has, well, like it they don't have snacks anymore. They're honey smacks. Yeah, that's oh, which you is get a, a shame. little bonus bird at the end. Bonus yes. bird. There's a little extra bird. Fourth. Well, now I feel like I could make a whole bunch of birds based on this little, just like on on the um, on the build style. Because yeah, they're really adorable. Yeah, here's another one. Yeah, I think this I mean is the you same see one a, you that... see kind of the same driving pattern over and over and over again, and it's yeah. really clever. Yeah, and there's the blue. I think that's the one that Moto built first. All right. Maybe. So the last part that I had to build that I just finished is this yellow pile, which when placed in situ mm -hmm. is the um, dripping honey. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> So, yep, it's just pooling up on the ground there. And I've got, wow, a whole bunch of parts left over. So, yeah, that's, that's, a, that's the, the beehive. The, the sub models are usually a little, or like the other two models are usually a little smaller. Mm -hmm. What does this connect to? Very cute. A part. So, I, that I used yet. that. Moto I used that. The, I'm sorry, that was the Kylo Ren saber hilt from a buildable figure yeah, I was talking good. about. And you used that. Um, as a bar method to connect the uh, watering dish, yeah, yeah. if you do the first primary bottle. Yeah, you were working oh. on them. Okay. And it's part no, of the no, um, no, roof no. in the second. I'll do the, I'll the, do the chickadee. Bottle. Oh, no, it's not. I'm lying. It's part of the, um, the, the nozzle. Mm. Oh, very good. Mm. OK. I'm always yeah, worried when I put the eyeballs on. If I don't get them exactly level, I'm going to make a derp, a derp build. Uh -oh. <laughs> I don't want to derp my build. <laughs> oh, I don't see the... There should be like a double clip here. Oh, there it is. Wow, I... Um... Nah. Yeah. That is really cool. Mm. I don't see the clip. Well, I say too, this is making extensive use of those, uh, of these one by one with, uh, with little uh, actual hole in it. Yeah, I'm glad that mold came in last year. That's a, that's a game changer. Yeah, it's a really, it's a really good one. I'm still waiting for the. Oh, there's another bird. Wow. Okay. There's um, lots of birds. Yes, many birds. I think like five or six birds total. Yeah, I'm still looking for that. I'm still, still, still really excited that that uh, Speed Champions new uh, compound snot two thirds hybrid is coming. Oh right! I mean, I haven't uh, had the mental fortitude to try and um, like figure out how I would use that, but it is a really cool piece. So it usually takes a couple of years for it to kind of populate through the market and get through Bricklink and everything, but I'm excited for that piece. Oh, this uses a different back piece than... Yeah, so this bird model, the one for the chickadee, uses uh, all the other ones I've put together so far use the little inverted curved slope, where this mm -hmm. one has a little rounded, mm -hmm. more rounded piece. Just now. Yes, it's How many great. hours do you think a designer sits at their desk just staring at little different pieces and holding them up before they make Probably a lot. a lot. Yeah. Yeah, a lot. Not a lot. <laughs> I mean, isn't like, what, did you, what did you do today? Uh, I held up a Nothing. bunch of two by twos <laughs> up on this bird body. <laughs> Let's see what would work. And then I settled on this piece here. 
Well, I imagine that's a big part of it. Like, I mean, that's how I do. I mean, that's how we all do it, right? Like, what other, pre how else would you manage that? Building small is harder, too, I think. Oh, yeah, it's very hard. Yeah, and they have a lot of time, too. Like I said, it's a very, iter it's a more iterative process in that capacity than, than probably anything else, you know, <laughs> in that form. So we did something really cool at our lug as a little event yesterday. Uh-huh. So they have standard bags of building bricks pre-planned pre for little events. Okay. For like creationary type challenges. Um, but what they did is there were six teams of six. And the rule is you get to come up with your own theme. It's timed out to an hour and a half. And the rules are one person can put down five bricks in their turn and no one else can be building. You can set pieces kind of on your table and kind of mentally think through how you're gonna build them, but you can't actively build. And you can talk and can communicate you, to each other about stuff. So you can you can talk and say, I think you should put this piece here. Yeah, or help me out and or like give ideas. But plan, yeah. you come up with your own theme and the first person puts five bricks down, the next person puts five and so on and so forth and you go around. And then the only other rule is if you, if while you're building your model, you break it, you have to tear the whole thing apart and start over. Oh, oh. <laughs> do you have to start over a lot? No, luckily we didn't. Because that would be my that idea. Is you, you built like, if you're doing a sub assembly, you would make it very fast. But everybody, when they're replacing their little piece onto the model, it's done very slowly, very delicately. Especially after the hour and a half, if you got your model nearly complete. Oh wow! Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. But it's really wild to uh, have that work. Did you guys wind up by uh, two one by six black plates when you were done with bag two? Mm, no. Nope. Yeah, I, I have a feeling I messed up. Okay, I missed something. Oh, you got to start no. all over. I don't remember no, one a, by six yeah, black plates in here at all. Oh, they're on the they're on the back of the roof. Yeah, I see it now. The underside. <clears throat> oh. oh, yeah, I see exactly where I messed up. That's an easy fix, right there and there. To hold the hinge in place. Well, I think it's a smart way to do this little, you know, bird design. With the little, you know, with the slightly swapped out parts. Who is the uh, Birdman for Lego Ideas? The one who designed like all the different birds and it finally went through. I don't oh, remember. No. That was like the one. It's the one Lego Ideas set I actually ended up not getting. It was really early days, I think. Yeah, yeah. I would love to go the back one with and get the that one. three birds in it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was a really good one. We had that. Yeah, I just am not super into birds and I think that came out at a time that I was working on a bird film that never got made and I was a little was it too painful? on it <laughs> oh so, so I that think was from 2015 David Wilkie's got a great question yeah. says, generally what's the time frame from idea to market for a Lego set years isn't it several years yeah yeah it's yep. a while and I think it used to be longer, but it feels like they've sped up the process a little bit. I think it depends on the set, too. Yeah. It depends on a lot of things, actually. <laughs> like that Rivendell set, they've probably been working on that for a long yeah. time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because it's going to depend on how many people they have working on it, uh, licensing. So if it's try they're trying to time it with something else and... Well, you know Again, I mean? how many iterations it has to go through and, you know, the budgets. Parts and new fig stuff. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm confused. Oh, well, and of course. All right. So, of course, because the internet and because fandom, the the Rivendell set comes out and the one of the first things I see is somebody complaining because mm -hmm. a couple of the faces on the characters are reuse, like reused faces from other... Oh, for God's sake, get over How it. How dare they? For a, for a set this expensive, they should be all new faces. I was like, uh, what? 
It's not even though. That's the thing is they, that's <laughs> probably how they made it as cost well, effective as they learning. did. Dummies. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Very cool. That looks great, Moto. I Chris put the Jolly blue jay on the top because blue jays are jerks. Blue jays are <laughs> Yes, they are. They kind of are, yeah. Chris Chalice uh, says yeah. he knows the Skyman Scott really nice guy behind the Nightmare Before Christmas set. That yeah, so cool. two new sets just got approved. Um, and we are actually going to be looking at those on next week's show. We're going to look at not only the ones that got approved, but we are also going to look at the ones that are up for vote for the next round, which also just nice. got announced. So that'll be next week. Um, but yeah, it's really cool. Oh, Drew asked an interesting question. Um, I wonder if the uh, Rivendell was planned to release with, oh, with the Rings of Power series. Quite oh. possibly. Although it's, mm. a, yeah, quite possibly. I don't know. I guess mm. I could be, I could the go timing is way. a little off, but. Yeah, I mean, they could have. Well, I mean, I wonder if it was, I actually wonder if it was in, in planning since the theme was, when since they were like doing the theme. And then maybe they dropped it and maybe picked it back up again. Well, yeah, I wonder why now. I was just about to ask that. Like, why mm -hmm. now with the with the um, with the Lord of the Rings set? I mean, I know it's something why that people. Why not? Can... Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, sure. Why not? But I just, <laughs> you know, what is it about like the timing on that? Because usually they're pretty, like the timing of their stuff is usually linked up to something that's like the anniversary of something mm -hmm. or you know something along that yeah i mean there is I, the rings of power that just i don't know i think i mean i think they looked at my buying habits and said she hasn't bought enough lego in a while <laughs> <laughs> is that how it works <laughs> it seems to be yeah i know a lot of people at work were kind of like oh my wallet <laughs> Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm over that. Yeah. Well, but the, but these are like, these are my co work colleagues who are not necessarily people who buy Lego mm -hmm. on a regular basis. So, but they're getting roped in. So What's I just, the... I just giggle. I just go. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my world. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I like how this is coming. Oh, I see. Make a cool little like spaceship, and I don't know. A spaceship? Yeah, making a little spaceship, a little mini. Spaceship. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's really good. spaceship! <laughs> Are you mocking? You're mocking with the uh, with yeah. Parts. She's mocking us, man. She's mocking us. <laughs> making a mockingbird. I knew uh, someone was gonna go there. I knew oh, that. I saw it coming. Goodness. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to make oh, like yeah, now I'm making that funny little part that Moto was working on earlier. I'm going to clean up. I took I took the dragon to the club yesterday and showed it off. Oh, and how did that go? Yeah. I'm sure oh, yeah. People are digging hit. it. Yeah, I'm digging it a lot too. It's come it, it's going to look really good. That's exciting. I'm also so you guys did I don't think you guys knew this but I registered that big bionicle dragon for Chicago uh -huh. like a oh, month cool. ago. Mm -hmm. So that was the first time we ever met. Who? You guys. Oh, oh. that dragon, that bionicle dragon. Yes, that's right. Yes, absolutely. So I don't think that you guys, like I've never been to a convention with you guys where I actually drove in the real sized models. Like, no, when no I was, I whenever I'm that. at the Bricks Cascade, it's always something pretty teeny due to the flight, you know, the, the carry on restrictions. Yes. Size. So you're bringing that, or now you're bringing this? Or you're bringing Hi, both. 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 Cool. Hey, Tan Jam's you know, here. How's it going? So, yeah, I had registered that big Bionicle Dragon long before you guys had registered for Chicago, but you'll be able to see that sucker in person now. Oh, oh that's, that's exciting. Great. That's awesome. Because I think when you guys first saw it, it just so happened that I didn't know that you were into, like, spooky, creepy things, and it kind of hit that vibe. Yeah, we definitely are we into are, that. That's for sure. <laughs> well, now that I know you, yes. Yes. Oh, and then and we've been... So, like, there's this... 
the free streaming service called Tubi, and they like have mm -hmm. free. They have cornered the market on really just terrible. terrible '80s horror films. Actually, just '80s horror films in general. They actually have some really good ones as well. And you do have to unfortunately sit through commercials, but man, it's a staggering array of crap. <laughs> <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of really bad hair <coughs> oh man bad hair and you know what's really um what's really uh disappointing oh tangent excellent yes we will definitely see you in chicago that's awesome cool um but yeah there's some really just truly terrible and the prints on some of these things are so bad like they look like copies of a copy of a copy of like somebody's off of a VHS of somebody's VHS that got chewed up in the machine and then they like <laughs> did it again like <laughs> there was one we were watching the other night that was so had multiple scenes that were so dark that it was literally we were looking at a black screen for quite oh a while goodness. wow moto Cool. Holy that's crap. awesome. That's wow. That's extremely. So yeah, this one I'm really digging. Wow. Wow. The, the I can't put the uh, really good. Yeah, I can't put the wings on for you guys because there's a defect in the model at the top. So that's what that's gonna be my playground exercise today is to take this to the playground and fix the wing, the way the wings attach. That's amazing. You're gonna build at the playground. Yeah, he does. Uh, every oh. every every Sunday, if the weather's nice, anybody, anybody in, um, like Wheat Ridge, Arvada, Lakewood area of the Denver area, you can come to Discovery Park. Very cool. Uh, and either you can do the skate park, or you can hang out with me, and we'll just chat while I build things. <laughs> That's awesome. Did I do this? Hang out time with Moto. <laughs> Hang out time. I'm doing this. I'm a little jealous. Yeah, it's one of the reasons I still use the Ziploc bag method with containers. Is it's really easy for me to put it in the trunk of the car and drive out there and build. That's so cool. on plan air, as it were. Bye, hooded one. We'll see you later. Oh, oh my goodness. What yeah, I wrong? just haven't done the big rack system like you guys have because it's really hard to transport that and keep it mobile. Those little uh, toolboxes, though, are pretty great. Like, are the little uh, carry hardware cases. Yeah. So So I did step 24. This is my Technic yeah. to go. You want to do those? Actually? Yeah, exactly. And then, nice kit. Yeah. Yeah. And then I've got 25 at all. Whenever I need my cool pieces, I have cool pieces that are hidden from Mr. Meow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've got gotta that scene. You gotta do. These are the <laughs> these are the really high end expensive chrome pieces and other things you can't get in large quantities, kind of hidden away for finishing. If Holly needs to find um, her cool pieces, she just needs to go into the back seat of her car and look into the little <laughs> uh, the little door handle well because there's a ton of them in yes. there. Yeah, yep. So now you, yeah. So I think I think hiding pieces from my kids is perfectly valid. <laughs> <laughs> He will take them all. I know. Uh, um, yeah. It's Vincent's like a little bird with all the shiny little things. He is. I call him, I've always called him my little magpie. <laughs> Lots of shiny things. Yeah, I called. I don't know if I did this right. When Mr. Meow was like six, I had to call Mr. Magpie because he wound up. Yeah. He wound yeah. up going to the to the storage room. But he wasn't tall enough to reach all the containers. So I came downstairs and the door was open to the storage room. And I looked and he had stacked all this these crates and furniture. He was able to pull over into that room to make this makeshift ladder. <laughs> he, had, he had climbed up this makeshift rickety thing to get to the top and pull all the little pieces down and start shredding them up. Very inventive. Wow. I do appreciate that that Vincent will tend. He tends to ask me if he can use parts these days, which is nice. But he's old enough now to ask, and he yeah. knows what he wants to do. Yeah. There. But when you're five or six, it's exactly not that's that's what I mean. Yeah, I used to have to definitely like hide things from from him. 
I still kind of do though, because I can't ever say no. Like if you ever ask to use a part, I don't I don't think I've ever said no. Mm. Oh, excuse me. Do Actually, my, my kid's really good at giving up pieces for this dragon. I was like, Yeah. Hey buddy, I ran out of silver in this one piece, but when we were sorting your minifigs, I noticed you had a lot of these silver ray guns. Can I take them? He's like, sure, I don't care. That's yeah. Right yeah. He's pretty cool about it too. Not sure what's going on up here. And then he'll you know, come back someday and he'll be like, But we're missing. Hey, can I use this rare piece that I just found to put it in my little belt? And I'm like, I don't know. And he's like, But remember when I gave you eight of my silver pieces? <laughs> <laughs> Never forget. Never yeah, Vincent, forget. Yeah. Vincent doesn't know about all the inventory. Yeah. Yeah, I, I went through a lot. He, so he's got these, he's got several yeah, bins of just yeah. unsorted Lego from when we moved. You know, I just kind of dumped everything in, in bins. And so I have like two bins that are like 80% Nexo night parts. And I rummaged through those quite a lot. Oh, yes. The off maligned by me <laughs> Nexo <laughs> Nexo nights. I hated the mess, but I love yeah. the parts. It's funny. Um, there, yeah, a lot of the the ongoing joke with Steve, like uh, from season two, the winners, uh, Mark and Steven, mm -hmm. um, you know, the before Castle Bros. Um, yes. They're really into Castle. And then if you bring up Nexo Knights, man, you get like a 30 minute hilarious George Carlin type, not George Carlin, uh, um, Louis Black type rant about how Nexo Knights was not Castle. And it's absolutely like, I mean, this, this theme that shouldn't have been. And <laughs> <laughs> it's really funny to see yeah, how passionate you know, castle people get when you bring up next to nights. It's kind of funny because it, it should have, in theory, been everything that castle and space people wanted. But it was it was made in a way that was to appeal to little kids and the adults just could not even. <laughs> well, and didn't it have yeah. there was some kind of app thing as well? Well, it was a TV show even. Right, but was there was there an app involved? I thought there was some uh, kind of. Wouldn't that be a little yes. early for apps? Yes, it had no. it had a it had a mobile app integration, so their shields had like little QR borders to them. There you go. An AR thing, right? There um, you go. So that's the it, dooming. That's the the thing that dooms. Like it was any. like hidden side. It was hidden side with Space Castle. Yeah, something like that. We didn't we didn't oh, bother with any of that. I should, oh. We just like, and the funny thing is, is Vincent was the same way. He just wanted the parts because I, I caught on. That's what that's about. You know, he was really little yeah. when those came out, and he would ask for these big like hundred dollar sets, and we would, you know, get him a hundred dollar set, and like he basically had no interest in building it. And then even when he did start to build it, he would basically just take like the two or three really cool parts out of it oh, no, this goes on and here. start building with those. And so we finally caught on that he it was just like. A couple of parts and minifigs that he wanted. He didn't really actually care about building the set. It must be a phase because my, you know, Mr. Meow went through the same. Well, actually, he was a small art director at the time. He went through the same phase. And, you know, I was smart enough to be like, oh, what, what makes you like that set? He's like, I want the saber tooth cat. And I said, right. How yep. about this? How about I order <laughs> the saber tooth cat from the mailbox? Yep. Because he was called, box. he was. Yeah, the mailbox always brings Lego, you know. Oh, very good. Which is which is which was his name for Bricklink. <laughs> yeah. That works. Where's the other chain? It's like, can I get this part from the mailbox? I really like that. So yeah, it's just a little bit of coaching. Eventually, he would yeah. go through stores and be like, he'd go up to the side and be like, I want that mailbox. I want that from the mailbox. <laughs> Are we hosting the Disney Habitats Challenge again this year? I expect we will. I have to. I actually need to reach out to to Jen to talk about that because we've. It's been a tradition, a two two years in a row. Um, so yeah, I'll have to thank you right. for the reminder. I have. I've been um, absent from um, from Instagram for a while. Uh, just you know, part of my sort of stepping back a little bit from social media uh, because Sometimes you know you do you do did we just finish yeah i think so although where do those go i don't know <laughs> we have two technic pieces left over it seems unlikely that they would uh oh uh -oh. what kind of technic pieces oh check there it's a 
It's a pin and a half stud. Ah, that could no. be an extra. Uh, there's a half stud one left over, not not a full pin. Yeah, that's what it was. The pin with the half stud is a is a leftover. Oh, okay. Light, All right. Light, so with the leftover pieces, play. I made a little micro scale, uh, futuristic, um, this guy's apartment block. Oh, very cute. Nice. And I still have a lot of pieces left over, so. Yeah, I do too. Well, with the birdhouse, there's not that many pieces left over. Yeah. No. And think, there's a branch for every bird. I think just goes to show that, yeah, this was definitely made for the birdhouse, mostly. Yeah. I, I counted five birds and only four branches. Where's the fifth branch? I couldn't figure out where Well, there's one on the house. Oh yeah, see, there's the I only see four branches. There's a the perch on the house. Oh, because because we have one sitting on the roof. Yeah, I, I stuck the blue jay on the roof because blue jays are jerks. That's what we. Yeah, did. that's where ours is too. Yeah. Although I might put the, I might also put the, um, maybe I'll put the cardinal up there as well. Why do you say blue jays are jerks? Because they uh, they they. they dominate. They, they get rid yeah, of. Yeah, they will fly in and attack the other birds away yeah. from the bird feeder. Ugh. That's, don't get still, along. that's still nothing comp I still say cuckoo birds are worse. <laughs> are cuckoo okay, let's do a little bit of comparison. Are cuckoo birds go. worse than or less worse than geese, Canadian geese? Uh, well, cuckoo well, it depends birds on what you talk what you're talking about. I mean, cuckoo birds go they fly to another bird's nest, they, oh, they knock all the eggs out. out. Yeah. yeah, they pitch out one of the eggs of yeah. the other bird, and then mm -hmm. they make the and then once the uh, eggs hatch, then the baby chick pitches all the other baby birds out of the nest so that it's the only one left and gets all the food. That's pretty messed up. Yeah. I just know Canadian geese will attack you. They will actually charge you and start quacking. Oh, yeah, they will. Oh, as far geese as, like, terrifying. the people, yes, they're the yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, we finished it. But yeah, but uh, but cuckoo birds as as just as a matter of like nature are terrifying. <laughs> yeah, they are. Yeah. And then ostriches, man, ostriches will mess you up just like a kangaroo. It's like a whole other meaning to the word uh, survival of the fittest, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's the birdhouse. There you go. It's the birdhouse. And actually, you know that there's a bird Oops. that um, and I can't. I wish I could remember what kind it is, but there is a bird that eats bugs. Um, and um, like beetles and stuff, and it nests n like it likes to nest near thorns, and then it takes the beetles, and then if it doesn't want to eat them, it spears them on the thorns. To oh save my god! Save for later. It's like a little snack. <laughs> wow! <It's> a snack, <laughs> huh? Making like beetle s'mores. <gasps> it's so weird. Yeah, swans are really mean too. If you mess yeah, with the swan, that's what I, oh, yeah, that's what I. I was just reading that in the chat. Yeah, I've heard that too. Yeah, wow, this is horrible. like the dark side of ornithology going I on. I told you, here. you know, I said it's last week, I don't really like birds, and I got this look like, how dare you? <laughs> <laughs> birds are kind of, some of them are jerks, you know? Well, Holly just has a, Holly, Holly has, um, you know, she has a, uh, a, a long genetic fright of dinosaurs that has been hanging around the mammalian species for for all this time. It's true. So, I don't trust them. <laughs> it's really smart. Don't trust those dinosaurs, man. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> well, fun. Well, I, I like, like that we built together. Yeah. And we made it through the whole the whole yes. model, all three types. I hope that y'all made it through yours. I am so excited to display this. Like I've been wanting this since I saw it was announced and I'm just, it's so cute. They did a really great job with it, I think. Agreed. It was a good set. I uh, I put my VIP points against it, so I got it for free. It yeah, for, I mean, for a, um, for a 30, for a $30 set. Yeah, it's great. It's got a lot of good parts. Creator sure. three-in-ones are the way to go. All right. I don't know what I'm building. I'm building some kind of like space. Classic space. space. <laughs> yes. Space. space station. Very good. Space. <laughs> I, was, I was inspired by the lighthouse I've been building, so I made a little like. <laughs> Do you have your nice. uh, chocolate spaceman with space baby? Is that their roost? Is that their it's nest? It's in a bag. It's still in a bag. I haven't pulled it out yet. Okay. I love space this. baby in. 
we're now getting like a ton of um we're getting now a ton of like bird facts <laughs> woodpeckers go cannibal mode if they're starved of bugs Whoa. yikes and uh this one red-winged blackbirds will dive attack the top of your head if you're near their nest <laughs> yep. a lot of birds oh, and uh, i had something really awesome food. happen three years ago i was driving to work I was going through the rural part of the drive and all of a sudden I'm driving along and there's like a bird flying around. I'm like, Oh, that's cute. And all of a sudden it just exploded. Ah. And a bunch of feathers came down and it landed and hit my car and rolled off. And a oh hawk, God. a hawk had nailed it. Oh, no. and taken it out and killed it. And it had fallen, it had fallen out of the sky and hit the car. But then I, I stopped oh, no. again. Uh -oh. Oh, no. It's just that. Uh oh. It was that amazing. Hawks are like crazy when they have explosions. Yeah. We saw when we were we were in a park yesterday and just saw a hawk um, come down for the kill right next to us. It was pretty cool. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Oh, he got a little this? mouse or something out of a field. You can be done for treason if you kill a royal swan owned by the crown. Wow. Yikes. Wow. Well, that. As, and, and if you marry that with his previous post, it says 90% of swans in the UK are actually owned by the king. <laughs> so don't so kill the swan. Okay, okay, so if you're into killing swans, you have a high likelihood of being convicted of treason. Whoa. Hey, look who's here. It's Joel. Have studs will travel. Hi. So good to see you. Oh, my goodness. And yes, you know, I was wondering when somebody was going to bring this up. If you like birds and board gaming, play Wingspan, an engine building game with bird facts. Um, I have a copy if you want to play. Yes, that would be I we are going to we're actually doing uh, game nights. Yep, we're doing game nights now. We got a special table for got game nights and everything. Card table with a little That's cover so cool. pool. We'll have to let you know about that, Joel. Very cool. Woo! All right. Well, I think that about wraps it up for today, friends. What a fun! Uh, uh, what a fun show! Oh yes, we have mini figs. That's right. Oh, I even shit. remembered to pull one. Yep, I got one. Um. And just before we just a, before we do this, just a reminder, not a reminder, I'm telling you now for the first time, um, next week we're going to, well, I told you this, next week we're going to be looking at the, um, at Lego Ideas and the two that just got approved and then the ones that are up for the next one. Uh, and then the week after that, uh, the weekend of the 24th, we will not be having a show because we will be camping, going camping. on our big, um, hey. our big camping yes. outing. So very, very excited for that. Hope to share some fun camping stories when we, uh, when we return. Um, all right. So uh, let's see. What have we got for minifigs? Minifigs. Minifig I'm not shake. prepared. I'm not prepared. I'm, I'm very on topic with this there you go. Chima. Oh, oh, very good. <laughs> Shima. Awesome bird head. Nice. Oh, and is that yep. on a on one of those pogs from from Dimensions? Yeah, this was a Dimensions minifig. Very good. I'm gonna call it Dimension though. Pog from now on. Yeah. I love that. Dimension Pog. It is a great name for it. Oh, oh. yes. Nice. So I picked this up as a at the lug um that was one of my figure choices but what's even crazier about this one is oh, yeah, the blank face wow yeah, it's a blank face yep that's going to be yeah. great i was uh yeah. well, ours is currently in billand but yeah that um the and he's got the ripped the like the ripped friends chest say, look at those abs <laughs> got a full six pack yeah. there friends calisthenics yeah working um, just out before you move on, Chris uh, mm -hmm. says that he could talk to Simon, who is the Nightmare Christmas, Nightmare Before Christmas designer, to see. If oh, he cool! Come on the show. Oh, cool! Oh, yeah, that'd be awesome. Uh, Holly, if he's allowed to at this point. All right, I don't have any. I don't have any. I wasn't prepared. I don't have any birds on hand, but I got this guy, who's just red. <laughs> oh, he's oh, awesome! Uh, video rocker. Yeah, another video figure. That rocker just... vampire guy. Would not have been made otherwise, and I am here for it. Yeah, he's, he's really got cool. Some great details, and if you ever need a figure with blue skin, 
mm-hmm. they can do in that act. As you oh sometimes do. And you do exactly. I get this Jack Black vibe from that dude. <laughs> yeah, I get a lot of vibes from this guy. I get kind of Gene Simmons and some Jack Black and some. I don't even know. It's pretty All good. All right, who's next? Wait, that's us. Oh, it's us. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! I've got Hang on, I gotta get it. Uh, Rocky. Rocket. This little tail piece. It's great tail. Very cool. And I've got one from the vaults uh, here. This is a uh, super old school. One of our kind of early sets school. we got. Yes, and this one, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. yes. Nana Jones with the idol, which if you have been yes. um, following us any amount of time, uh, every time we do a mock that has any kind of like treasure hoard or like pile of stuff, like we always use the gold idol. The I idol. put it in like every single one. I've probably used it in at least like at least six different mocks. Yeah, your adventures. <laughs> it's, it's been in a lot of stuff. Oh, but um, well, hooray. that's another week of of fun Lego. I know another yeah. another week in the birdhouse. Um, very fun. We'll need we need to do this again. That was a lot of fun, y'all. That was fun. Um, and and as Wilfred was saying earlier, reminder: uh, Tricky Bricks is a build and chat show. <laughs> like we have like gotten away from the building. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, but. Oh, yes, pair that with a golden dinosaur from Adventurers. I do have that golden dinosaur somewhere. Yep. Those are really cool. Um, but gosh, well, thanks, everybody, so much for joining us. Thanks to everybody in the chat and all of our lovely uh, panel members. We'll be back next week talking about Lego ideas. And until then, don't forget to stay safe, stay healthy, wash your hands, wear that mask when, when where you, you still need to. Need to. Get all of your shots and your things, and we will see you next time. Bye, everyone. Happy building. Bye. Don't tune in Wednesdays and Fridays, please. <laughs> As well, you can, but it'll be dull. <laughs> <laughs> An empty screen. Goodbye. <laughs>